Welcome back, guys. Boy, have I put some hours into that map, but it is complete. The Zurich map is complete, and we can actually start the game. Right. God, it's, it's so exciting just pressing new game. Oh, man. You know, when I, was, when I started the map, and I, I knew how much work it was going to be, I was kind of like, oh, God. But now it's done. Boy, am I excited. Right, it's called um, Sky Zurich Switzerland, and it's, up, I've, it's uploaded onto the workshop. You can go, you can get it, you can download it yourself. Um, now, I've put um, ore in all the, all the like mountainous areas. I've put in loads of fertile land where there is farmland, because there's a lot of farmland around, uh, around Zurich. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of trees. Uh, I've put in all the outside connections, all that. So I'll show you all of this stuff. It's a winter map, 88% buildable area. So loads of stuff to build. Let's jump in. And here it is. Welcome to the beautiful, and I do mean the beautiful city of Zurich. If you get a chance to go to Switzerland, uh, and like, well, unless you're a rock fan, in which case you'll probably want to go to Montreux, uh, don't go to Geneva, don't go to Lucerne or Lausanne or any of those other places. Um, don't go there, like, come to Zurich. It really is a fantastic place. Like, at Christmas, when it snows, seriously, it's like something out, like, straight off the front of a Christmas card. Uh, and in the summer, oh man, it's beautiful in the summer. In the summer, there are various parks along the uh, along the edge of the uh, the the Zurich Sea um, that you can just like go and lie out, and and they're just packed, absolutely packed with people lying out. You can go swimming in the lake. The lake is is beautiful, crystal clear, clear lake. It's absolutely freaking freezing. I can tell you that from personal experience, because like even in the summer, even when it's like ninety degrees. Which is like, well, like thirty degrees for people who use Celsius. Um, like even when it's really stinking hot, this water is obviously coming from melting ice up in the up in the mountains in the Alps, and so this is absolutely freaking freezing. Why have I got this paused? Let's get it. Yeah, that there we go. That's better. Let's get some traffic moving. And I got to say, this has turned out. Pretty beautiful, this map. Should we start building? Let's start building. Uh, I've got tons and tons of questions and, and stuff to tell you and answer. And I have got loads of great trivia and stories to include in uh, in this series. Right, you know what? what are, it's funny, when you do a map like this, um, half the stuff that you do, right? Because you, you have to do because of the, like, the mechanics of the game and making the map playable for people and whatever, you end up undoing. So, like, for example, I had people commenting saying, oh, this road here, that's not a highway. Yeah, no, it's not a highway. But I have to put highway connections into the starting map tile, right? And you can't use any other roads in the map editor. So, so there you go. Right, let's get out of um, free cam. And the first thing we're going to do, pause the game, and I'm going to start ripping stuff out. So, these roads here are going to go, you know, I'm going to take it back all the way down to here, I think. Oh, and by the way, this um, this part of the seal, this is the seal river here. This is the Limat up here. Um, this part of the seal, the, the motorway actually runs right, it's built over the river. It runs right down the centre of the river. It's very cool. I'll show you that in a second. Now, I'm using a different map, which as soon as I've removed this, I'll show you. Uh, and it's a, much, uh, it's a much higher resolution map than I was using when, when I created it. I, I should say overlay. It's a much higher resolution overlay that I, than the one that I used when I was creating the map. Right, I want to get rid of this because we're going to be putting the real roads in. Because this is... Um, like, this is the, um... I, actually, I don't know which number tram this is, but I'm going to put the number six tram in fairly early. Right. Ha <laughs> uh, Now, I've purchased um, all the map tiles except this one. I thought I'd leave one. So that you can see that I've, I've purchased all the map tiles. Now, at the moment, I'm going to stay within the 5x5. Five five. 
Uh, but later on in the series, I think I'm going to do the um, the 81 tile unlock, and uh, we'll do the international airport, which is uh, which is up here, outside the current buildable area. So let's um, let's bring the map. Oh, before I forget, I'm going to turn prop and tree anarchy off. That's a good idea. Shift P, boom, off. There we go. Right, let's have a look at the map that I'm going to be the overlay that I'm going to be using. So let's turn it on. Here it is. Now, as soon as I zoom in, you'll see how much more detailed this is. So if I zoom in to like, um, where's Barnoffstrasse? Here's, Bar uh, here's Barnoffstrasse coming up here, which goes like from Parada Platz. Where's Parada Platz? Here's Parada Platz. Uh, goes, runs up from Parada Platz with all the posh shops. And then it goes up here and then goes uh, oh no but uh, it comes down yeah it comes down here and then it goes up uh, and this is Barnoff Key which is like the quayside and then it goes up here to Barnoff Platz and then we've got the um, the Help Barnoff so somebody uh, corrected me in the comments um, this is the Barnoff Barnoff is railway station but this is the Help Barnoff which means the central railway station and this is one of the first things that we're going to be doing now I spent hours let me, let me Turn the map off for a sec. I spent freaking hours working on the water, getting the water flows all correct from the uh, from the seal and this. I've been working on this all night. I, what time is it now? It's like a, it's like about nine thirty in the morning right now. I've been working all night to get this finished so I could get an episode out today. And the first thing I'm going to do is block off both of these rivers and completely change the water flow. And you'll see why. Um, we're going to start off, I think, with the with the barn off, because this is kind of crucial. Let's turn the map on. Let's drop this down, and you'll see the Barnhof is built right over the river seal. Okay, <laughs> so so there's the there's the river coming down here, and the Barnhof is built right over the top of it. Now you can see that the rivers that I've put in are slightly wider than the actual rivers and that's because we're, we're going to build them up slightly as we, as we go along. Um, so we've got to get all of these rivers in and it's, it's kind of difficult to put them in that small to start with. It's much easier to like put them in a little bit bigger and then kind of narrow them down. But okay what are we going to do here? Well we need to fill in this terrain and then we're going to have to put water spawners, one here to act as a drain to get rid of the water that's coming down here and one here to supply the water that's going to be flowing down here so <laughs> yeah yeah i know crazy but it is what it is okay i've just run into um a fairly major problem with my terrain tools um they're giving me error messages and it's a bit of a nightmare i've just spent about yeah let's see three hours trying to debug it and figure out what the problem is and i can't figure it out so what I've done is um, I've, I've managed to make some changes to the terrain. I'll figure it out offline, and, uh, and I'll, if I figure it out, I'll let you know the problem. But I've got to say, Snowfall, I've had more... I've, I've never had problems with City Skylines until I've install, installed Snowfall, and I'm hoping Snowfall is going to settle down soon, because it does seem to have quite a few issues at the moment. Anyway, let's stay positive, because I am... I really want to do this. Let's get some roads in, shall we? So, let's bring the map up. So, uh, I've lined the map up. Oh, my my new high def map, and we're going to put in. We're going to start with the with the barn off, and we'll kind of work out from there. So, this is barn off Platz. So, it's the station place, I guess, would be the literal translation. So, what we're going to do. We're going to take, uh, let's see, let's go to our trams. These are trams. Very cool. Uh, I'm going to take a uh, two lane, one way. And we're going to start, we'll start here, I think. And come along here. Now, putting this building in, I'm not going to worry about for now. I'm going to worry about the, the station itself. So... Let's 
try that again. So from there, let's take snap off. It's better. Okay, so because these roads are a shade wider than they're, they're shown on here, I'm just going to run that straight along there, I think. In fact, I'm going to run it straight all the way along to there. Uh, to there. Then we'll... Oh, I have to take it back a little bit. Gonna have to take it back. Let's try that again. So let's take it up to there. And then, yeah, and then now we can get a now we can get a corner in. Uh, is this is this all one way along here? Oh no, uh, this bit isn't one way. This bit isn't one way. Ow. Try that again. Where are we? So, yeah, let's take it back to there. Sorry. My bad. My bad. Not paying attention to the signs. So, yeah, this comes up to there. And then it's a uh, normal two way, this bit. Up to there. Then we'll come around the corner. Like that. Now, I'm not actually sure. I'm going to have to double check this road because I don't think this is a tram road. I think the trams are limited to this bit. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm, I'm pretty sure they are. I can always change this road. Doesn't matter. Let's get the <laughs> train station in. Let's get something in, for God's sake. Uh, right, so uh, that's trams. Uh, that's um, metro. Trains. So I'm going to be using this. Um, this good old brick train station. And this is actually a little bit on the small side. Which I'm kind of surprised about. But it'll do. It'll do. At least for now. Until, until I can find something bigger and better. There or there. Yeah, maybe there. Right, so we'll have that. And then we'll bang in a bunch of these. Um, these are the left ones, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, now, let's drop, drop the map so I actually see. Now, how many of these do we want to put in? We want to put in, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six of these. <laughs> so, And we've already got a nice big station going on. Excellent. Okay, so I wanted to get that in. Good, because then I can start playing around with my train lines and stuff. Yeah, should we do, should we do a bit of train lines? Let's do a bit of train lines, because train lines is fun. Train lines is fun. Right, let's get... Uh, where's now? Which is my regular train line? That's the one way. This is the one we want. Okay, so... Now, these come out straight to about there. And then they start joining up. I mean, there's actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's like eight tracks because they're on the outsides as well. But I think we'll live with one, two, three, four, five. I think we'll live with six. I think that'll be just fine. I suppose I could have fit. I could probably have fitted an extra one on the on the edge there, but I think this will do. Right, so let's run this out to about there. I think. Now, I want to get all these the same length. So what I'm going to do is just put a road across there like that, and then we'll get back to our rail, and then. Run these all out. Nice and straight and even. Boom. And boom. And boom. boom, boom. Do I do I do I do I want to put an extra one on the end for that? I 
don't I I'll, I'll think about that. It's it's not a problem to add an extra one, so. But I think we'll I think we'll we'll maybe live with that for now. Get rid of that road. And now we can do a bit of bit of hooking up. So, what do we we want to end up with um this one. I can't get them. It's, it's actually difficult to kind of see which kind of track is which. <laughs> I guess that is that one. Yeah. And then now the problem is you can you can only put these a certain distance. Up, you know, you can only get them a certain closeness together. So we'll put them as close together as we can get them. Oh, come on, come on. There, and... Now, this one's a bit curvy, so we'll do this... We'll do this a bit curvy, I think. Yeah, let's drop this down. Where do we go to there? Oops. Bring it back up. Yeah. And now we do have that one going around there as well. Can we put that one in as well? Answer, so, yeah, of course we do. <laughs> Not even a question. Of course we do. So, oh, now you won't come out from there, will you? No. Uh, if we come back a bit. Can you come out from there? Yeah, they, then you'll come out. Uh, let's drop this down. Help me. Yeah. So this is going to go right around there. Okay, so now we want to join these up to those. So let's take this one first. Bring it around here. Has this got you going already? Because, like, I'm already like, oh, my God, I've got a massive train set to play with. And unlike London, this is all one-to-one. -one, so I can actually do it exactly as it should be done. So, well, like, I mean, you know, like, as near as you're going to get. The only problem is that, like, joining the trains up, they don't like to join up, like, properly. So I think that one's going to have to join up like that. Oh, let's drop that down. So then this one's going to come up here. Like this. And... Oh. and join up to that one. Boom. <laughs> Loving it. Loving it. Okay, so these two... Yeah, you know what? We're gonna have to put another one in. We're gonna have to put that other one in, aren't we? We have to. Let's uh, let's put it back in. So where are we? Um, what do I want? I want a I want a, a two L. Two L with you two. Right. Let's get this. Uh, where's my where's my tracks? Here's my tracks. So this one is going to be straight out to yeah. now is it straight yeah it's a little bit more curvy but I, I, I think we'll run it I think we'll just run it out straight we don't I don't think we need to fuss with that right now you're gonna hook up to this like pretty much any way we can get you a hook up probably so yeah, that's probably about the best we can do. And then... Oh, you're going to come out, like, pretty much straight. And hook in. Let's do the... Let's do this outside curvy one. I think. So, you're going to come in like that. And then... Like that. So, that's you. Good. But you also come out 
across it. Now that is not connected to anything. That just ends there, that one. Which is pretty, pretty weird. But that's what it does, so that's what we're going to do. I have to, I have to end it probably maybe a little bit shorter because of the proximity issue. There. Okay, cool. All right. So then this one is going to come out like pretty much. This one's goes like pretty much dead straight, isn't it? And then it, it joins into that one. So let's see if we can get this to do that. Ooh, that's that's the best we can do for that. And then finally, this one is just going to come straight out and hook up to this. So if I can actually get it to do it. Boom. Oh, oh, oh man, look at that. That's pretty. Pretty darn close, wouldn't you say? Alrighty. Right, we're going to leave that there because I'm not going to spend the entire episode doing trains. Because uh, there's, there's a couple of things I want to put in which are like iconic and crucial to the city. So, we're going to focus on uh, on Barnoffstrasse. So, Barnoffstrasse runs from the station down to, like, through the centre. I mean, it is the heart of, uh, of Zurich, Barnoffstrasse. So, Let's get our uh, let's get our trams up because <clears throat> this is this is Tramville. So we've got um, uh, let's see we've got Barnoff Platz here now. Where's Barnoff? This is Barnoff Strasse that runs down here, and then it comes into this, which I cannot pronounce. It's um, Urania Strasse, and then now hmm. Does it go down Verdmelstrasse, or does it go down uh, onto Bonhoff Key? I think it comes down onto Bonhoff Key. Uh, I'm reasonably sure of that. I will double check these routes. I will double check these routes, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Now you know what? Let's start from uh, Let's start from Paradeplatz, which is here. And you can see, there's a tram going through there. Oh, yeah. So, we want... Um, now, this bit of Paradeplatz is kind of one way. And then you go on to uh, Barnoffstrasse, which is, which is two-way. And Barnoffstrasse, we'll put in with this. So, we'll start from Paradeplatz there. And we'll put in the main Barnoffstrasse. Oh, now I feel like I'm doing it. Now I feel like I'm doing it. And you can see that the um, the width of the road is pretty much bang on. So that's a good sign. Uh, should we go? Yeah, let's do it like that. So we'll go up to uh, Seelstrasse. Like that. Now this this is one way. So we want to switch to one way. And but I'm this is two way. And then it splits into one way going around there. And this feeds into this. So, let's drop the map down. Okay, so we'll take a two way road from there. Now, this is one way there and one way around there. Uh, is that one way? I don't know. I would have to absolutely double check. I'll put a two way in for now because like, we, we can all switch it. Um, so, let's put that down to there now this is a uh, a tram bridge this one uh, this one is and also uh, Bonhoeffbrook is a tram bridge and also 
uh, this one. Keybrook is uh, is a tram bridge as well. Uh, what was I working on? I was working on this one, wasn't I? Yeah. Um, we can put this in. Um, but I think we're going to put this in with a four lane. Now, the only thing is, I don't want it to produce a one of those. So, I think if we put it in like that... Yeah... That'll do. That'll do. Now, we're, I'm going to have to, like, decide, am I going to try and find assets to mimic the bridges and, and stuff? Because th these are... Some of them are, like, nice, proper old stone bridges. This one I don't think is. I think, well, you can kind of see that this is just a regular bridge kind of like this. So that kind of works for that. Uh, right, what were we doing? Yeah. So we put, we put that bit in. We need to bring Barnoff Key along here. Now, this is one way, this bit feeding off here. So... Ah, uh, now... Uh -huh. This little bit here is one way, but this bit here, I think, is two way, and then it goes into a one way and a one way this way. Yeah. Jeez. This is kind of tricky. Kind of tricky. And in fact, like trying to put this little bit in is almost freaking impossible. I think we we're going to struggle with this. But we'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. So let's take that across there. And then we'll... I don't think we're going to be able to take this off. It's going to be too close. We'd have to take it maybe a bit further back. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, we can do it. We can do it. Okay, let's help bring the map up so I can see what I'm doing. So this just goes up here and then hooks onto... There. Ooh, getting getting that bit round there is going to be a bit tricky, but we'll, yeah. like always, we'll see what we can do. So we this bit we can do, I think. I bring this out maybe a little bit, and then run this up. Uh, you know what? I'm I'm just going to go as far as here. I'm not going to do uh, Barnoff Brook yet, and then we want. Uh, see, this is the problem, getting these damn things to go close together. Uh, it's not, it's not going to do it. I may have to put that in as a, as a two-way. Which is a damn shame. But, like, that's as close as I can get the damn things to go together. Well, unless I bring it back here. Now, this does hook up, so... Uh, but it won't hook up there. I, I need to get the sharp angles tool. It'll, it'll hook up there. That'll do. That'll do. All right, cool. Um, so we've got this bit to do as well. <laughs> oh man! So this is um, this is one way coming down here, and then we've got one way coming across here. But I think we're going to have to do that with a with a four lane bridge to kind of mimic that. I don't think we can do. It's not. I don't think it's going to look good with two bridges going across there. I don't know. I guess we could try it and see. Um, you know what? Let's leave that for now because I want to get before the end of this episode. I want to get to some of the. Um, I want. There's two buildings that I want to put in to kind of give us the feel of Zurich. Uh, let's take this out because um, this is not a highway, as somebody pointed out, and as I pointed out to them. I have to put in highways because you can't put anything else in and I have to hook up the um, the initial map tile to highways. You have to. Game forces you to. So let's take this right back up here, I think. Because we're not going to be using that. There we go. Cool. Okay. Uh, let's put in... Let's put in... Uh, Keybrook. Uh, so this is going to be a four-lane tram bridge going across here. So 
We want to go from here. Uh, I'm going to put this in straight, I think. This is going to go to there. Now, now the problem is again doing this. Now, there is a way to turn this off, and I can't remember what the hell it is. Can you remember what it is to stop it producing a bridge? Um, I can't remember. Never mind. Uh, for now, I'll put in a, I'll put in a slightly curved bridge. Yeah, there we go. Like that. And that stops it doing that thing. Cool. All right. Uh, so there's a there's a one-way street going up here. This is not a tram street. This one. This is just a regular one-way street going up here. So, um, and see, this is where we get to the point where I might need to play around with the network extensions um, for narrower roads and stuff. But we're going to use um, we use a two-lane one-way road for now. Let's get this thing on. So we're going to come around like that. Bring it right up to there. Right, we've got bridge coming across here, which is um, just a. This is not a tram bridge. It's just a regular old bridge, and it is quite an old bridge. This one, as as I remember. Uh, let's use a straight road to do this. Boom. This is um, this is Limat Key running up here and this is this is this is one way this is one way coming up here so actually oh, I'm not going to do that side of the river for now I, I'm really trying to focus on these two buildings that I want to put in we will get there we will get there now this is all buildings up here um, the build one of the buildings that I want to put in is this one uh, is it St Peter's I don't know, hang on, let me bring it up, because uh, it's Grossmunster on the other side of the river. Where's Grossmunster? Uh, Grossmunster should be over here somewhere. Where's Grossmunster? Here's Vingley Platz. Oh, here's Grossmunster. I, like, my mouse was like right next to it. Grossmunster, here's Grossmunster. Now, you can just see these two towers. And these two towers and the tower of... Where is it? Oh, um, Kirsch Fraumunster. This one. This one here. Um, this has got a big tower on it as well. Kirsch Fraumunster. We're putting this in. And I found a little church. Uh, it's actually in as a park. and it, But it's got the spire that we're looking for. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's a shade small, but, you know, it'll do, it'll do, for now, at least, and, unless I can find a better, so, there we go, there's our first spire, and, uh, when I put the second one, I'll put up a picture, and you'll kind of see that this starts to give us the, a bit of, a bit of flavour of Zurich. So uh, we need to get the other one. We need to get Grossmunster in. Now, Grossmunster is uh, at an angle. Uh, now, here's, uh, here's, here it is. So we need to put this road in, and then the building goes up there. The problem is which end the towers are. Uh, and I don't know is the simple answer. Now, some of these roads are very, very small. But, we'll, uh, again, we'll see what we can do. So let's put this road in there okay and then this is a level six monument here it is here it is oh and they're at the right end perfect there all right now hopefully if I whoops if I get out of the um, get rid of the map and bring this down here Hopefully, with these two buildings in place, we get the, this spire over here and the two spires over there, we should start to see 
you know, a, like a little bit of the feel of Zurich. But you can see how up and down this is, right? So we're, we're definitely going to have to play around with some smoothing as we go along. This is going to be, this, the, the, the terrain is going to be a bit of an issue. But you can see, like, there's a bit of a, it's a bit of a hill here. We can probably smooth that out a bit when my terrain tools are working. Okay, right. Uh, before the end of this episode, this first episode, I want to get the, a little bit of the uh, number six tram route in. So, go back over here to Parada Platz. Uh, oh, turn the map on. Right, Parada Platz is here, this bit here. So let's drop the map down. And then we're going to put in Parada Platz. So. Now, uh, this, is, this is where I've got to try and remember which side of the road they drive on. So it's going to be, it's going to be around there and then up here. And then it goes up Bleicherweg. So, so, you know, I, I think I'm going to do this with straight roads because it's a little bit fiddly. So, I think we'll bring this up to there. And there. And there. Now, this is one way. Bleicherweg's one way. Seriously? Oh, now this is the street I lived in. Dry, Dry Konigstrasse. I lived on this street. For what it's worth. <laughs> Don't know whether you're really interested in that. But. Uh, okay, let's put in Bleikerweg. Put it in as accurately as we can. So this is the root of the, um, the number six tram. I'm pretty sure it's the number six tram. I do keep saying... But I'm not quite sure. I'll, I'll, I'll look it up and double check. That's, yeah. So, yeah, we go through here. Now, when it goes into Bederstrasse, I think it changes into two-way. And I'm not even sure about this stretch. So, let's we'll do it straight to there. And then I think we're going to have to get a bit... Well, I don't know. I, th I thought we were going to have to be a bit curvy, but I think we can... It straight to there, and then we'll curve it round from here. So, and now we're coming up to the the highway, which we go underneath. Oh, oh, we're going over the seal. Now the um, this is um, this is interesting. This is where the highway. You can see the highway is actually built in the middle of the river. There are like supports which actually are in the river, and the um, the, the, the main highway like ends here, and then you've got these on and off ramps which go o over to here. Uh, but this runs all the way down the seal to, oh, further than this. I think it runs down to where the river turns here. Yeah, runs down to this part here. So that's going to be fun putting that in. Now, this is as far as we can go anyway. So you know what? I'm going to leave that there. So we've got the number six tram route coming out to here. I really, I was, I was hoping that I could put it in all the way up to where my old office was. My old office is up here. Um, but it's just off the map that I've got, so never mind. Alrighty. Oh, man. Um, I've got to figure out where their tram depot is. Now, I mean, I suppose... This, I mean, I'm just thinking, does the, does the tram depot... Let's drop the map down a second. Does the tram depot actually look like that? building and I suppose it kind of sort of does um, where's trams uh, here's trams here's the depot see what I mean if I bring them bring them out that actually looks like that so we could actually put the tram depot there now I know this isn't a tram de depot but it's kind of an interesting idea isn't it if I put if I put a little bit of road in here, 
I'm just going to like put this in to kind of see what it looks like. So if we put that in like that. Hmm. Now along here, I think there are actually shops. Yeah, these, these are actually shops along here. But... This building is actually kind of close. I must admit, I'm I'm kind of tempted to put that in. I'm gonna have a think about that. Leave me comments. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, we're gonna leave it there for this episode. I think we've got the barn off. We've got some awesome railway tracks. We've got uh, the number six tram route going out um, to um, God knows where. And uh, we've got the two churches in, which give us our first bit of the Zurich skyline. I'll catch you for the next episode, guys. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. Peace out.